The tools that are required to perform this installation are an Allen key, which is supplied together with your water heater controller, a pair of wire cutters and strippers, a screwdriver, and an adjustable wrench. Before you install the TrickleStar electric water heater controller, make sure you turn off the power to your water heater. This can be done by turning off the circuit breaker that your water heater is connected to. Once the power is off, unscrew the cover plate from your water heater and remove it. Remove the wire nuts and disconnect the existing wires. Next, remove the cover plate attached to the power supply conduit. Attach the conduit cover plate to the water heater controller and tighten using an adjustable wrench. If there is no ground wire from your water heater, you will need to add an additional wire through the bottom of the water heater controller. Next, feed the wires through the bottom of the water heater controller. Now place the conduit cover plate back in its original position and screw the cover plate back onto the water heater. Feed the power supply wires through the top of your water heater controller. Feed the conduit lock nut around the power supply wires and attach the conduit to the water heater controller. Tighten the nut using an adjustable wrench. Insert the power supply wires into the two upper terminals labeled line in and fasten the terminal screws. There are no positive and negative polarities for the wires in the water heater controller. If the wire is too long, trim the excess wire using a wire cutter. You can use a wire stripper to remove the insulation on the wire.
Insert the wires from the water heater into the two lower terminals labeled water heater. If you had to add a ground wire, connect it to the ground terminal on the water heater. Connect all the ground wires to the ground wire terminal inside the water heater controller. Place the other part of the electrical cover plate back into its original position and fasten the screws. Use an Allen key to screw the front cover onto your water heater controller. Connect the temperature sensor to either of the sensor terminals on the water heater controller. Use the supplied zip ties to secure the temperature sensor to the cold water inlet. Make sure that the black sensor is touching the pipe. It is now safe to turn the power back on at the circuit breaker. Installation is complete and you may now connect your new water heater controller to Wi-Fi. This can be done by going to the TrickleStar portal at portal.tricklestar.com.